Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. Today's lecture is all about one simple question which a lot of people ask online and also they search it online. That is database backup size is far bigger than the database original size. Now a lot of time if you will search it on Google you will find a simple solution which people say like shrink the log backup but that is not the actual case in all the scenarios. A lot of time people don't realize like they have scheduled a job which is taking the backup and the script of that job is not right as per their requirement. We will gonna go through the script and I will show you what option caused this trouble. So let us begin. Now I have this sample database. Uh, what I will be doing is I will be creating backup on this path. And if you see there are two options. One is name that is the name of the backup. And second is option no in it. Now what this option do is before uh, discussing that let me show you what in it do. Now if you run the backup with this in it option it will create one backup file here it the size is 200 uh, 2300 kb now if i'll run again it will replace the file with the same file size if i run it again again the file size will be the same 2200 2300 kb now what if i just modify it to no in it now what this no in it do is it keep the existing file and append a new full backup into the same file so it, the file will be one but it will contain two backup now if I run it it will append into the same file and now the size got increased to 4700 now if I run it again again backup size will increase to 700 k 7000 uh, 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 kb now if I run it again it will again append into the same file now this is what wrong with their job now a lot of time people have scheduled the job having this option and it's keep on appending in a lot of cases even some people have asked like they have the database size is 700 MB and the backup size is 200 GB now this is the main reason behind that now also this is also not a drawback this is having its own advantages like as that database uh, the backup file will be having multiple database backup into it so you can restore to any point to any full backup uh, through the like you can say through the options for that I have a separate lecture if you want to go I will be mentioning its link in between the uh, within the description you can follow that up but also if you don't want that you have to go with the no uh, this init option instead of going with no in it if you run it again again it will replace the file with the original size backup so this is what the problem is now what if if we execute two three times and you want to make a logic like you want to keep the backup size uh, like a backup uh, like two or three days backup then you can have the backup information like restore header only information from disk and if you run this query it will tell you how many backups within that database we are having okay now it is saying open cannot file the specific oh mm, sample backup so if I run this it will tell you how many backup this uh, backup file contains if I run it again and we will check the header information again it will tell us like there are four backup if I run it again and go to the header information again it will tell me there are five backup within that backup, the database backup so now this is the problem because of this option no in it if you have uh, this trouble then you can solve it by just changing it to in it or you can use this feature properly if you can handle it with your own business logic according with this header only information by first getting the header only information and keeping only few days backup like four or five days retention only so it totally depends upon you if you ha still have any question or any doubt you can ask me anytime through my email id and through my phone number my email id is gmail.com and this is my phone number so